everyone, this is Anna Blog here coming at you with another video. Today's video is going to be on the Revlon Realistic Range. I don't know if you heard about it. I've been seeing it floating around on the internet for a while and I had some really good reviews about them. So I thought, you know what, I must give this product a try. I went to the Afro here and Beauty Live a few weeks ago and the Revlon stand was there and they had some little nice little package deals. I chose the £20 one, I had a £10 one and a £20 one. And in the £20 one, I bought, uh, I got a shampoo, a conditioner, a butter, buttercream, which is a leave-in conditioner, a curling custard, and a revive spray. Um, these all have black oil in them. They, that is a essential ingredient in their products. And I'm not a stranger to black oil. I've mixed hair oils for myself with using black seed oil um, in it. Uh, so it's nothing new to me, but... You know, I was really, really interested in trying these products out. Now, I've already used the Revive Curl Spray and I've already used the Curling Custard. I can absolutely tell you, I loved it. My hair is just, it feels thicker and really moisturised, especially that I've coloured my hair. And you know what colouring can do to your hair? It can really, really dry out. But I have not had dry hair since I've been using those products. I haven't tried the shampoo and conditioner yet, and this is what this video is about. So let me get on with it. Now, it comes in packaging like this, beautiful black, gold, and red. Absolutely stunning packaging, a stunning design. Um, this comes in a 340ml bottle. They retail around about £6.99 each. Across the range, the majority of them are 6 99 um, bar a few pence. Uh, this is Revlon Realistic Black Seed Oil, designed for natural hair, strengthening shampoo, it's uh, sulfate free. Um, they do have um, no mineral oil, no petroleum, no sulfates, no parabens, and no colorants. It has cinema, coconut oil, um, kernel oil, cocos, uh, arrogant, arrogant oil. It does have fragrance in it, it's got perfume in it. Um, black seed oil so yeah so those are just some of the few ingredients that they have now I'm going to try this one I was actually thinking of wetting my hair this time for some reason while using this product I don't know why but I thought you know what let me just try it on my dry hair and um, and dry hair and see how it goes now it comes with a pump dispenser like this which is uh, quite difficult to work to be honest with you um, it's like yeah, it's a lot of work. I probably, when I wash my hair, will just undo it and just pour it. It comes in a white consistency like that. It's kind of got, um, if you look at it, it's kind of gloopy. Reminds me a bit like PVA glue. Yeah. So, the smell is nice. I do like it. Um, for what I can smell because I've got a blocked nose. Okay. It's going on smooth, really smooth. Wow. I tell you, shampooing and dry hair is just like the best thing for me. And that went in my hair really, really well. Oh my goodness. I didn't expect that my curls are just like, look at this. I'm gonna put the rest of the product in my hair off camera when I rinse it out and then give you the first. Hi, I am back. I've rinsed my, out my hair and oh my gosh, my hair was feeling so soft when I was washing it with the water and rinsing it out. My hair right now feels really soft. Like I feel my curls as well, like from the roots. Next, we're going to go on with the conditioner. Um, comes in exactly the same bottle, has the same ingredients. Well, you know, to the point. Again, it's got the pump which I do not like. Yeah, the pump is really useless, to be honest with you. Um, look, I've just done how many pumps just to get that, and it's kind of like, okay, this is designed for natural hair, and I don't know if they meant natural hair um, for black people. Black people do not need a pump like this to get this much condition. Like, that's just not going to work. It's just, it's just ridiculous. It may look nice, but it's not practical. So anyway, I've poured some. To, you know, I don't know if it smells or not. My nose is blocked. I think there's a slight smell to it. I can't smell it. Sorry, guys. 
So I'm just going to wake it up by rubbing it in my hands. I'm just going to get a section on my hair and put it in my hair. Oh wow, look at that. It's quite thick. It's a nice consistency. I do like it. But my hair is definitely taking this product in. Now I'm going to go and just put the rest of the conditioner in my hair and then I'm going to rinse it off and I'll be hey back. Oh, I am back and I've rinsed up my hair. My hair feels good. It feels alright. Um, it doesn't feel... It feels moisturised like... Like it just feels like it's just been replenished. And I quite like that. Um, the rinse out results is okay. Um, my hair just looks thick. Gosh, it just looks thick. Wow. Um, it feels a bit... I don't know, it's alright. It's nothing major, to be honest, with the after results. But it's not like a bad or anything Next I'm going like to use that. the leave-in conditioner and it comes in a tub. Okay, it is strengthening butter cream. You hear that? It's kind of wet. -y. It's almost like if I tip it over, it's all gonna fall out. The, uh, the smell of this is quite strong. I can smell it even through block nose, so it must be quite strong. But I'm not really too bothered. All I'm bothered that I get the results. Um, and this is what it looks like inside. And I'm gonna part a small section of my hair this time, like so. Just put a little bit. And then I just coat it. So I'm just going to apply it from root to tip. Now it doesn't provide any definition or such with the um, with my hair. Maybe because it is quite light, so it just doesn't, you know, give you that option. But my hair feels alright. It doesn't. My hair doesn't feel like really smooth or anything. It doesn't feel like extra soft or anything like that. It just, I don't know. It's just like product in my hair. Um, but I think it's one of those things that after a while, like, you know, when it's dried out um, or, you know, using it after a period of time, it will take effect. Um, you know, my hair is okay, but it's not anything special. Do you know what, though? My hair feels so full. Like, it, <laughs> it feels like the, the hair strands have expanded. My hair does what the rest of the products do, and it's this continuation of making my hair feel thicker even looks i think it looks thicker do you think my hair looks thicker okay so i'm just gonna let my hair soak in that product now i'm gonna put in the curl revive and i like this so it's got your spray curl. bottle but the bottle dropped and the me mechanism just must have broken so it just doesn't work so i had to put it in my own spray bottle which is this but the problem with this because the spray is more than that one when i spray a lot comes out um, so I had to remind myself that I just, you know, like, oops, getting all my back. Be very mindful, because otherwise this would just finish really quickly. So um, I'm just going to spray it in my hair. And that Revive has a slight, it's not oily, oily, but it has a slight slip oil, oil type, type of texture. And I really like it. That has really kept my hair moisturize so i've just sprayed it on my wet hair and i've got my leave-in as well and next i'm going to put my curling custard in and the thing is the curling custard is for your curls but i find that i like it as a moisturizer like it's it's just like it just gives my hair a nice coating and yesterday i was out in a few the past few days i was out in the sun or yesterday particularly i, I didn't have my uh, bandana and the sun was beating on my hair and I was like oh my gosh I'm definitely gonna have to watch it because my hair's gonna be really super dry but when I I did my hair my hair wasn't that dry you can tell it was a little bit dry by the sun but it wasn't like oh my gosh my hair's gonna break off you know so this these products are really really protecting my hair and as you can see I've used quite a bit of it already um, really truly when you use products like this for your hair you need to take time if i was to go and put this in my hair like i do my shampoo my conditioner i probably won't get the type of curl that i want um you know this is something you definitely have to sit down um you know detangle your hair with your brush or your fingers or whatever and then get the product 
and then put it over your hair and then just work it you can see now I've mentioned this before that the curl this curling custard does not give my curls a definition um, like as compared to my as I am um, curling gel that one is amazing it gives you know like how you saw my hair when I put the shampoo in and you just see the curls straight away yeah well obviously this as you can see this doesn't do it it's it's it gives you frizz with your curls so it gives you a different type of curl so as you can see you can see my curls forming but it's like there's loads of frizz with it maybe on type 3c hair maybe um or 3a or whatever um it might do it but for my hair which is 4c however it is a great moisturizer um i've been putting this in my hair and my hair has just feel so coated and protected and it just not dry at all so guys for the recap you know i actually love the whole line i really really do like it the I, one thing i don't like is the pump on the product um the shampoo was good the definition was amazing the conditioner um, I like the conditioner. I don't think I like it as much as the shampoo when it comes to um, how it felt, left my hair feeling in a sense of like it wasn't really super soft or anything like that. However, but I did love the fact that my hair felt thick um, and it looks thicker as well and it looks full as though the strands have just expanded, you know, by 10, 15, 20 percent. So for me, the conditioner is a thumbs up as well. The um, leave-in conditioner, again, it was something I have to, it feels fine, it's okay, but like I said again, it may not see be the texture, still might be good. You know, the leave-in, it felt okay, um, it didn't make my hair feel soft or anything like that, and I think it's just something that you use and you'll see how your hair goes over time. I love the Revive Curl Spray and I love the Curling Custard, both of them really makes, keeps my hair moisturised moisturized for a really, really long time. Um, I know the curling custard is for you and your curls, but um, I just like like it as a moisturiser. As a curl definition, unless I want like some of my curls to show with a bit of frizz, it's not the curling type of thing that I like. Hi, I thought I'd come back on camera just to let you know my hair's dried and i um just been brushing it out, just putting some flats. And... Um, yeah, there's a lot of residue from um, the products that I use. When I was brushing my hair, like, I don't know whether it's from the buttercream um, leave-in conditioner or from the curling. I think, it could, I know, I think it's from the curling. Um, so, you know, you brush your hair, you get the little white bits. Yeah, that's the only downfall. Like, I'm just looking down at my trousers, with trousers which are black. And then there's just, like, all white bits. So, that's not good. Um, my hair feels amazing though, it's still, you know, feels really soft and everything, my ends feel really soft, you know, but I suppose as long as it does the job, it's a minor. So I've come to the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, you know exactly what to do. If you use this product, don't forget to leave a comment down below. So remember people, be bright, be bold, be beautiful, and most importantly, be you. This is Anna Lay Blog, unapologetically me.